Hello and welcome to TPM's 4-Minute Friday. Today we're going to take a look at the roof command inside of Revit, but more specifically within the roof command we have the align eaves command. Uh, this is something that comes up in a, probably every uh, class that we teach when we're working with Revit and we get to roofs, as well as occasionally get some support calls on this. So I thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and uh, show a little video on how you can deal with these uh, eave conditions with uh, multiple pitches. So let's go ahead and switch on over to Revit and we'll take a look. So here you can see we're inside of Revit, and I've got some simple models to show these concepts. Uh, two models are essentially the same right now. We've got a 6 uh, on 12 pitch tip roof, except I put 9 on 12 on the ends here, so we have this dual pitch tip condition. And we're going to do this twice because there are two options inside of the adjust uh, eaves command. One is you can adjust the overhang, or you can adjust the height. So if we zoom in a little bit, you'll see that uh, we do have uh, 9 on 12, 6 on 12, and we get this odd corner condition, which most people don't want to keep because it does create a little odd uh, hitch in the hip out here. You can see that when we zoom in, we get this odd graphic or this odd modeled condition, which very few people, people are going to want to keep. So let's adjust this. And the way we do that, we're going to go into our edit footprint command with the roof. And over here on the right, we have our line eaves. And when we pick on that, you'll see I do get a graphic that shows me the amount of drop on the eave lines. And that's based off the bearing height and how far it goes. Because we have a higher pitch, we're dropping farther, given the same amount of length. What we want to do is we can either adjust the height or the overhang to make these line up properly. So the first condition we're going to do is the adjust overhang. The way this works is you first pick the eave line you want to keep or adjust to. And then you pick the ones you want to align to it. So you can see I'm pushing these or selecting these, they're pushing them back so we get the same amount of one foot drop. If I accept that, it does work. You'll see we do get our corner condition proper here. The thing is though, most people are not very happy about the fact that we have a two foot overhang on this side and to adjust in this technique, we've had to adjust the overhang or Revit adjusted it for us, giving us a one foot four overhang to make that corner condition work properly. It works, but a lot of people don't like the way that looks. So we've got the other option. If we go down to the other building, essentially the same building, if I go back in and use the edit footprint, and again, align eaves, I get the amount of drop, but we have the other option. Rather than adjusting the overhead, overhang rather, I can adjust the height, the, effectively the bearing height of that edge of the roof. It works the same way, essentially, in the fact that we pick our line that we want to keep or align to first, and then we pick the eave line that we want to adjust, as well as the other one. In this case, I've got two, and I'll go ahead and accept that. Now, what happens is that you see I now keep the two-foot overhang. So I have two-foot overhang on both ends. I get the corner condition working properly, and the way that it's a, uh, accomplished that is on the building on the bottom, it's actually raised the bearing height on this slope edge on both sides. So we can see this. If I go into the building section or wall section, this is adjusting the overhang. So we have a shorter overhang. We can see that by simply coming in here and see that we've got our one foot four overhang. It works, but a lot of people aren't happy about that. If we take a look at the other building, this one, we keep our two foot overhang. The way it's accomplished is you can see it's raised the roof on this portion of the building in order to keep the two foot overhang. So now when we take a look at the amount of overhang we have, we keep our two foot. And it's accomplished that by moving this portion of the roof up to keep that. So obviously that's a detailed condition that has to be dealt with. But that is how you can adjust your eaves to put the same amount of drop and get all your eave lines to match up properly. So if we look at this in 3D now, it looks like a normal roof and our eave lines are now matched up properly. This is the, uh, the two foot overhang with the uh, adjusted bearing height specifically. So there you have it. That's how you can adjust your uh, eave lines. And again, we do that with a roof command. Uh, and we simply go in to edit footprint and align the eaves. Again, it will show us the amount of drop and then we can pick the uh, eave edges that we want to align to. So hopefully that'll uh, make it a little bit easier for you or clarify something that you weren't particularly aware of. And uh, from there, we'll say thank you for your time here with the uh, TPM 4-Minute Friday and we'll see you next time.